Raptors come away with the road victory, 117-113 over the Washington Wizards. Washington Wizards. Or as Jack Armstrong would say, Jack uh, Washington Wizards. I love him. Great guy. Um, the Raptors come out today, and then we, we hear this morning, uh, Kawhi Leonard is not going to play via rest. And we usually hear rest late in the season when we're getting ready for the playoffs, and you want a couple guys to sit and have a little bit of a relaxing time for a little bit before they get into game shape heading into the playoffs. But not today. Kawhi Leonard gets the seat today, and understandably so. He's played nine games last year. He has, didn't play the rest of the year. Then he comes into preseason today and plays some preseason with the Raptors and plays two regular season games, as well as last night being some crazy nut job type of game. And then hop, getting ready for a road game against the Wizards the next night. There's no need to kill this guy early into the season, right? So Nick Nurse takes the decision, and I agree with him 100%. Give him the seat. Whether the Raptors win or lose, it doesn't matter. The Kawhi Leonard needed that rest. You don't need him out there in Game 3 of 82. You want him out there for Game 82 of 82 and beyond. There's no need to work him too hard right now. I know he's Kawhi Leonard. You don't need to tell me this kind of stuff. But did it hurt us today? Not really. Raptors, like I said, win 117-113. And guys, you know what? I got to give this team a ton of credit. I got to give Nick Nurse a ton of credit. Once again, playing the hot hands and does a great job down the stretch. This team in the second straight game have been in tight late in ball games against very good teams and found ways to hang on to them and get victories because of solid defense and big shots. More or less, Fred Van Vliet. For that late shot in this game in that fourth quarter. Big shot there by Freddie with only five seconds on the clock. On the inbound, there was probably, what, what, one and a half seconds when he fired that up? Maybe even less? Ridiculous. Crazy shot from Freddie there. But Raptors get off to an all right start in the first quarter. You know, they're plus two, 24, 22. And we're like, all right, that's, that's what you want to see there early on. You want to get the lead at least, right? And then second quarter, you're plus one, 33, 32. You're plus three at the half. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you don't have Kawhi Leonard tonight. This team's on a back-to-back, having traveled to Washington. Washington has been sitting here for a few days. We're not doing half bad here at the half. But, again, on a second half of back-to-back, the second half of this game is going to be that much harder. But the Raptors come out in the third quarter, and they play the best quarter we've seen, uh, you know, all around, I guess, in this game. They score 33 again. The offense keeps flowing. They're making their shots. They go on a big 9-0 run at one point. And they have, they, they have an 8-point lead after three quarters. They win that third quarter 33-28. And we're like, what? Okay. But the fourth quarter is where it matters. We talked about that in the last video. It's not how big your lead is. It's not, not how you do over the game. It's when, you, when it counts. Do you get the job done? Now, they were plus four in the fourth quarter. They had a big run to start the fourth quarter, but the Raptors were able to weather the storm and come out with the victory, 117-113. Uh, now, we can argue about calls. We can argue about the referees, like we always do, because that's what the NBA is, a bunch of referee firing, firing at referees all the time. I, I did it in the first video. I did it. I didn't, I didn't really do it too much yesterday. I mean... Because the, it was pretty even for the most part. It was just one crazy rear end of a game. And today, kind of the same type of thing, you know? I mean, what were the re, what were the free throws in this game? Uh, we took 36, they took 32. Pretty straightforward. Both teams made 20, or we made 29 free throws, they made 26. So if you want to say, oh, that was the difference, it shouldn't make... Look, don't give me that. Kind of, if, you're, if you're really going to blame one call for the entire game, you're grabbing a straws here. Raptors as a team shoot 44% from the field, 34% from three, and 81% from the free throw line. That is much better than we had seen in the first game. I'm not too sure what it was yesterday, but the first game was terrible in the free throw percentage category, even though we didn't get many free throws to fire, but we did in this one, and they made their shots count. Big big thing about this game, obviously the Wizards acquired uh, Dwight Howard in the offseason, and we're like, man, he's going to be a big impact to this team. Obviously, he is not in the lineup as of right now. Did not play today. So the Raptors were plus 15 on the glass. They were plus 5 on the offensive glass. This team was working their... Re Look, guys. 
what I saw today was this team actually putting in a hard, solid effort. Not that they have it in the first two games, but I'm just saying, without Kawhi Leonard, we didn't really know what we were going to get from this team. He's like, you know you have Kyle Lowry, and he's going to try to drive this team as much as he can. But this whole team came together and got the job done as a team. Let me run through this real quick here. OG had 12 points on 5 of 10 shooting. Norman Powell had 7 points and 5 rebounds on 3 of 5 shooting. He was good out there. Oh, also, plus 20 on the floor for Norman Powell. Very, very good sight to see. Also had a really big, nasty block in there somewhere. Uh, beautiful job there. JV, 16.7 rebounds and an assist in 19 minutes of work on 5 of 8 shooting, 6 of 7 uh, from the free throw line. And uh, he also had a block in this one. So, an efficient 19 minutes from Jonas Valanciunas. And the man of the hour once again... Kyle Lowry, 35 minutes, 28 points, 3 boards, 12 assists on 10 of 21 shooting, which is 47%, which is still pretty good. 4 of 4 from the line, 4 of 9 from 3. Kyle Lowry, once again, the driving force of this squad. Look, guys, you got to realize what this guy has done in the first three games of the regular season. He is trying to prove to everybody, including us, that, yeah, he's upset about DeMar DeRozan leaving. But he's committed to the Toronto Raptors, and he's committed to winning. And that's what he is doing right now. Game one, he goes 27-8. and eight, Does a ridiculously good job shooting percentage-wise. Fantastic. Yesterday, only had 15 points, but he had six boards, six dimes, and also took about, it, it feels like about 12 charges. It was like three of them, three or four. But big, big charges late, and he was a grindy defensive player. He did his job to get this team the victory yesterday. And today, without Kawhi Leonard, he needed to be the driving force on offense. And he was with a 28 points, 12 assists. Kyle Lowry is my MVP from this game. As much as Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam were, and, and even Ibaka, they were great. But Kyle Lowry is my guy for today. Abaka, like I said, did a very good job. Danny Green had a rough night, guys. Five points, three boards on one of nine shooting, one of eight from three. Uh, he had a tough time there. But, you know, that's why you have a ton of other guys that can play, that can do a good job. So he had a rough night, but Abaka, 16 points, nine rebounds, uh, four of ten shooting, um, eight of ten from the free throw line. Only shot the one three-pointer. Thank you, Serge. Play your game. Mid-range, inside, beautiful. And he also had a block to go, or a steal, uh, what do you have? A steal and a block to go along with that. He was good, 16-9. I'll take that any day from Serge Ibaka. Fred Van Vliet with 13 points, four boards, five dimes on, uh, what, four of nine shooting, four, four, four of five from the line, one of two from three. And not only, look, 13 points in 27 minutes doesn't look too appetizing, but it's the magnitude of those points <laughs> That really shows us what Fred Van Vliet is all about. Like I said earlier in the video, making that ridiculously tough shot. Look, Lowry inbounding it, trying to get it to Baca, or trying to get it to Serge Ibaka. It tips off him, and we're like, oh my god, it's a turnover. But instead, Fred Van Vliet pounces on it, and clearly knowing there's not much time on the clock, chucks it up, gets the basket, and you can arguably say that right there was the game-winning game, ch game shot for the Raptors. Look, they did trade baskets here and there near the end, but that right there could have been a total difference maker in this game if Fred Van, Fred Van Vliet, not only did he not pick it up, but missed the shot. But he made it, and he was great, and I love Fred Van Vliet. Siakam fouled out in the game, but before that, in 26 minutes, he had 10 points, 10 boards, 4 of 8 shooting, 1 of 1 from 3. He had a block and a steal as well. He was solid in his time. And CJ Miles, look guys, he's been not so great in his first two games. But in this one, only played 13 minutes. But he had 10 points, 6 boards, 3 of 7 shooting, 4 of 5 from the line. Only took the 1-3. Interesting to see from CJ as that's his main part of his game. But he missed that shot. He thought, you know what? Let's change things up a little. Let's start driving. And it worked for him. I was really impressed with him, and I'm so proud of this Toronto Raptors ball club. I really am. It's game three of the season, and you don't want to look too much into it. You don't want to dwell on it. You don't want to think, ooh, this team is going to go all the way because they've won some games against some good teams. It's the regular season. We've seen it before. We know what this team can do in the regular season, but it's, the, it's not just that. It's the magnitude of how they're doing it and how it's like yesterday, right? You know? 
being down and coming back, like it was a back and forth game for the most part, but for the Raptors to make that final punch, we did not see that last year. It was either this team blew out the good teams or it was a close loss to the good teams. And in this case, they've got the job done against those good teams closely, but they were able to dig in and get the victory. All right, and I'm so proud of this team. Next up, the Raptors come back home to Scotiabank Arena before they take on the Charlotte Hornets, who are above 500 right now, two and one. I mean, it's a very, very minuscule amount, uh, minuscule record, obviously, to say that, but it's the way it is. Kemba Walker has had a ridiculous start of the year, and I'm so sorry for him that he is on the New Orleans Pelican or New Orleans Pelican. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say New Orleans Hornets, and it kind of just drifted away uh, because that that was a long time ago. Um, but the Charlotte Hornets, <laughs> Kemba Walker has really taken this team and put his, this team on his shoulders. I mean, what did he have in his first game? 41, 26, and then 39 points. Those are his three games that he's played so far. He has been impeccable. He has been ridiculously good for this rapper team though. They got to play as a team and get the victory against the Charlotte Hornets, a team they should beat at home. All right. So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this game, and you guys enjoyed this video. Smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what you guys think of the game. Uh, who is your MVP in this one? Excuse me. Would you give it to Freddy? Would you give it to Surge for two straight pretty darn solid games? Would you give it to Kyle Lowry, though? And that's my opinion. Kyle deserves the MVP in this one. Or would you give it to somebody else? I want to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, Evan and I will talk to you guys next Saturday, podcast edition. Links in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes, guys. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff, and I will talk to you guys. Uh, it'll be Wednesday, Leafs edition. As, like I said in the Leafs video, it'll be in a hotel. Me and my girlfriend are going away for a week. We are coming back on Friday, leaving tomorrow. So... Uh, Wednesday's Leaf video against the uh, Winnipeg Jets, 7 o'clock puck drop in Winnipeg, will be uploaded in the hotel. But that's what we'll be talking to you guys, Leafs edition then, and Raptors edition, same deal, until uh, until Friday night, guys, so you guys can do the math how many games there are till then. Uh, that's how many videos will be in the hotel. Uh, starting on Monday, as Raptors take on the Charlotte Hornets uh, at, where is it, at Scotiabank Arena, 7.30 tip-off. Raps look to stay perfect and go 4-0 on the season. Can't take any team lightly, however. Charlotte, they have Kemba Walker, period. You can tell me all the other bench players, all the other good small players that they have. Kemba Walker drives that team. You find a way to control him, you'll find a way to win the game. It's not going to be easy, but we'll talk to you guys then.